Among Korea's many valuable cultural treasures exhibited at the National Museum of Korea, there is an artifact that seems different from the others. It is a bronze helmet that has been designated as treasure number 904. This helmet was made in hopes of victory at the ancient Greek Olympic Games and presumed to have been made in the Greek region of Corinth in 6th century BC. How did this ancient Greek bronze helmet become designated as a treasure of Korea? In 1936, the Japanese occupation period, Son Gijong won the gold medal in the marathon at the Berlin Olympics. Hiding the Japanese flag on his chest with a sapling, he could not hold his head up despite winning gold. He returned to his country without realizing he had won another prize. Forty years later, Sun Gijong was going through old photographs to hold an exhibit commemorating the Berlin Olympics and discovered a photograph of the bronze helmet. He realized that this was the prize for the winner of the marathon at the time. After a long inquiry, he found out that the helmet had been placed in a Berlin museum. For 10 years, he made every effort to have it returned to him. Finally, in 1986, the helmet was presented to Sun Gijong. The very next year, the historical value of his helmet was acknowledged and became the first Western artifact to become a Korean treasure. Son Gijong then donated it to the museum so that everyone could see it, saying that this helmet was for the entire people of Korea. Son Gijong's bronze helmet represents a proud yet painful part of Korea's history. It is a valuable treasure that represents a part of Korea's history that must never be forgotten. <laughs>